It started out fairly simply as curiosity about, um, you know, about the experience of some writers that I was interested in. I was particularly interested in mothers who had left their children in order to write, which I think is a fantasy about having time and space to oneself. And, you know, then thinking about other people who might have done that in a really radical way. One of the things I found out was that none of the people who you typically think of as having done that did it by choice. Very, you know, very few. It's all about not having the resources that they needed to keep a child, to take care of a child and work at the same time. Um, and what kept me going, which was more interesting and more riveting than the initial impulse, was a feeling that I didn't understand the narrative of a creative woman's life. I didn't understand how to make the motherhood and the creative creative life fit together. Mm -hmm. And I couldn't find anything. I kept looking. There must be a theory. You know, somebody has written about this. Some famous academic has come up with um, ideas that will help me. And I couldn't find anything. So just out of really sheer, um, you know, stubborn mindedness, mm -hmm. I kept going and kept trying to find out what the shape is of a creative woman creative mother's life. One thing it taught me was how incredibly lucky I have been to live in the Netherlands, which is a country that has, or had in the time that I was working on the book, um, subsidized childcare and good public schools and a pretty big support network for creative parents for parents in general um has health insurance has the things that support families of all kinds not only creative ones and who, that doesn't necessarily make a distinction between oh you working people you're okay you deserve health insurance and, and you you know freelancers you're in another category just work a little harder than that. And so I didn't have the incredible stress that I think of young kids are under right now. And on a larger level, I don't know if it taught me one big lesson, except that it's possible to think about my life as a creative mother, as a narrative, and to put myself at the center of it. it also taught me a lot of little things like, oh, that's why I felt like, oh, that was normal. That was something that other women share. You know? it, it taught me that I wasn't alone. Well, I hope that they will you know, have more support for creative parents and see the urgent need for that, especially in the visual arts, which is a really difficult field to be in as a parent and be so devoted to your work. Um, and where I think the disapproval for any kind of combination of creativity and mothering is much greater, there's a greater fear that domesticity will creep into the visual arts and ruin it somehow. But um, also that it's okay to be doing, you know, if they are creative people, that it's okay to be doing what they're doing. And it's okay to center themselves when they need to, to put themselves at the middle of their own creative process. Not, you know, which doesn't mean that you have to be doing it all the time, but when you're doing are there making that work with all of the self that you have available to you.